Your garden is a paradise to a puppy. If you think about it, in the wild, dogs live in the outside world. The geography, the landscape, this is designed for the dogs. All the natural sense of plants, soil, fresh air, it stimulates animals. And dogs being mainly guided by their olfactory system, scent is everything to them. So when I let Dieter into the garden, this is a wonderful world, but as a puppy, it can be a dangerous world. Now nearby me here, I have some chemicals. This one here is for killing ants. This one is killing weeds. And of course, this is the weed killer spray. Most of us take it for granted that we have these chemicals around the gardens and a puppy being very small in body and weight, if he bites into these tubes here or drinks any of these chemicals, it can make him seriously ill or kill him. So like with a young toddler, you follow the same rules. When Dieter's in the garden, as he is now playing about, I keep an eye on him. And when I'm not in the garden, I'll either put him back in his playpen, in his kennel, or he'll be in the house with somebody watching him. I want him to enjoy the garden and everything it offers him. So all these chemicals we put on a shelf out of reach as we would with a child. The lawnmower for cutting our grass, keeping our garden tidy. Well, some puppies are attracted to the movement, to the sound. Others are a little bit wary. So I use a lawnmower in two ways. One, I habituate the puppy to the sound at a distance. And if it's not frightened, I'll let it on a lead nearer and nearer. And if it ignores the lawnmower, that's fine. I'm now habituating the puppy to a loud and to a certain extent, an unpleasant sound for a dog. Down here at my side, I have an electrical flex, one of those rolling ones that are so common in the home and garden. Once that's plugged into the electricity, it's a magnet for puppies to play with. They love wires and things that move. So when you're mowing the lawn, if that's being dragged behind you through the grass, like a little worm, puppies will pounce on it. Again, they have these immensely sharp teeth that can pierce cable very easily and be killed with a shock. Over there is a plant pot. He's taking an interest in it. And it's even comical to look at these things. He's really fascinated with it. And in a way, it seems innocuous. But in fact, once he starts breaking the plant pot, the sharp shards of plastic are no different to chicken bones. If he swallows one, you'll have to take him to the vet. And unfortunately, the plant pot's no longer his play toy. I will replace the plant pot with a safe toy. I've got one of these Kongs, which he's already attracted to, so I will allow him to play with the Kong. Many of us use rat poison, mice poison, about the garden. If we get an infestation of rodents, we want to get rid of them. Now, these chemicals vary. I think a little puppy of such size is going to be affected by any chemical ingestion, which is unnatural to him. Again, along with the garden chemicals I spoke about earlier, rat, rodent poison, keep out of reach. Don't leave it around the garden thinking the puppy will ignore it even a few months later. I know you can put it in long pipes, but it's amazing what a puppy can get with its paw it can reach in. So you can't have any rodent poison about the garden when a puppy's in its early stages of growth. I've let Dita out here now with Safi and he's starting to engage with her again. He has had a few skirmishes with her and he's learning the rules of play, what he can and what he can't do. As well as in the house, he's learning that he can play outside with her. 
She's quite a dominant bitch, so she's going to make sure that she has deference. But also, like so many dogs, she does now recognise he is a puppy. And she induces most of the play. She actually wants to play with him. Whereas, the first three or four days, she couldn't stand the sight of him. And that's normal for most dogs when you bring in another dog into your home. It's not all welcome, puppy come here. It's simply, this is an alien, this is an outsider. It's an interloper into her pack. But today, again, she's reinforcing the bond. She's forming the pack with Dita.